What's going on, guys? Back at you with another Comic Call Thursday. I got a few I'm going to review here for you, so let's get to it. First one I'm going to be doing is Sonic the Hedgehog Imposter Syndrome. Uh, I've been waiting for the right point to get into this. I kind of kept up with the whole Metal Virus play thing on Instagram, that storyline. But I finally decided, you know, finally start getting into it again and getting back into it on the IDW front. So, pretty much, it looks like we got some Sonic and Tails copies and some other evil doctor who looks like might be alternate universe Howard the Duck uh, going on here. So pretty much they got kind of like a shadow thing going on. Don't know about their past or nothing like that. Don't know anything. So they're pretty pissed and they're just going to like destroy Eggman and all the other evil doctors and destroy Sonic too because they don't have a past and a future and stuff. And it's kind of cool. You got Surge who, you know, reminds me of Scourge, Scourge, her pronounce his name or whatever. And then you pretty much got like, um, waterbender emo tales <laughs> i mean it's all good though the uh stories door story is pretty good you know they're working for another doctor and there's a lot of double crossing and you know their powers are pretty cool the way they work it's it's very interesting how their powers are kind of like opposite of each other and kind of like counterintuitive but they actually use it to work really well together how they're cyborgs and stuff getting some dragon ball z vibes you know android type stuff and it just seems really kind of cool. There's just a lot going on, double crossing, a lot of crazy action, you know, like they're pretty much like counterparts of Sonic and Tails, and they take control of like all the badness, and Eggman gets double crossed and goes somewhere. But it's going to be really interesting to see where this goes. I'm not exactly sure where it'll be going, but it's very, it's very cool. The story's shaping up really well. Um, the artwork's really good. The story is, uh, you know, I'm not uh, exactly sure, like, like I said, I didn't really read it up to this point, but, you know, so we seem to be carrying on pretty, pretty accurate Sonic fashion, you know, I'm proud of that, got a nice appearance of Metal Sonics and power com com combinations, so it's actually pretty cool, I'm kind of looking forward to see where it goes, and I'll, uh, you know, start picking up Sonic again monthly, this is pretty cool, can't wait for the next issue. All right, next is going to be Nightwing number 92. Amazing cover art as always. These covers are just always bright and vibrant and always catch your eye. I love the story going on in this, you know. Um, you know, Haven opens up. I love how we start off with a flashback of when Dick was Robin and just like the old school kind of comic-y style with all the dots and everything in there. And, you know, just the narration going on. I thought it was a really cool way to open the comic. It was just really awesome to see and... It was just, um, it was, it was just nice. It was really cool, you know. It was awesome, like Alfred facing off against Batman, you know, making him chill out and not, you know, like totally like come down and just be like a dick to dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Alfred just being awesome, you know, rip Alfred, dude. Like, oh God, I just love seeing Alfred in action, just like staring down Batman and just like telling, like, no, this is what's gonna happen this time. You're not gonna do this. And Batman's like squinty, staring at him and everything. Like, oh, I hate you, but I'm gonna do what you say. And I'm going in there and, you know, like being more like a father instead of just like being, you know, like a dictator and be like, duh, 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 you know, like Alfred just really like smoothing him out and bringing him down, which is awesome. That was great. Um, Bruce appearing was awesome. You know, Blockbuster appearing in the park. That whole interaction that they had was great. Loved it. Like, then just, like, Dick being just an amazing, amazing, just badass in this was just awesome. Like, taking out all these criminals, taking off their masks, being like, no, they're the mark protection. They're going to know what that means. Like, publicly embarrassing these dudes. And just like this huge splash page I love, which I'll put up on the screen right here. Oh my god, the art in this book is just so great. Oh my god, that's great. I love the artwork. It's amazing. But just like Dick just being, oh, getting his due in this comic is just awesome. He's like smart. He's like tactical. Oh my, he just knows what he's doing. Like he's out in the open. He got shot in the head and, you know, everything's going on. He's just doing everything, just doing whatever he wants to do and just not caring at all. I love it. It's awesome. You know, we get Superman coming in again, get a little cameo going. Oh God, it's just awesome. The energy in this whole comic is just, this is probably one of the best comics DC has out right now. It's like an ongoing series. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much every week. <laughs> And the new villain at the end, that's going to be interesting to see. I can't wait to see what goes on with that because, oh, man, this whole, like, trying to kill him has been going on for, like, issues and issues and issues. And, oh, man, it's just amazing to see and read and see where it goes, you know. Like, oh, my God, the way they have, like, all these characters, like, Flash come in and Superman come in, you know, Bruce came in, but it's not, like, overwhelming or, like, oh, I wonder who's going to show up in this issue. It's, like, 
it's just a really really nice balance of how they're incorporating all these like guest characters and everything but it's just amazing i love it awesome go check it out all right last but not least venom lethal protector the og lethal protector series is awesome and this one is shaping up to be great like i'm really interested to see exactly like where the story goes and how they they tell this story if that makes sense because you know the first issue he just totally loses venom you got humbug who no one really cares about and these other two other villains that also no one really cares about they get handled pretty quickly and then he loses the venom soon to get the first issue and this issue he has like a little bit he comes back and it's kind of cool to see him like vulnerable and him and talking to the symbiote but like not the symbiote being a part of him like it's kind of cool just seeing him kind of treat the symbiote like more of like a pet and that he's holding and taking care of more than like something just all over his body and just like always kind of there you know he even remarks like i keep saying we but you're not even a part of me right now like i don't remember how to be like myself or anything like that but when the symbiote comes back he actually goes back to the globe and uses his old connections and everything he's a little bit more resourceful because he's not just relying solely on the suit you know what i mean but it's really cool and when him and Humbug fight, the fact that he spares Humbug because he understands what Humbug is going through and just what led him to, like, be where he is at, that was really cool and really surprising. I didn't expect him to, like, really kill him, but, you know, like, beat him up, leave for the police and stuff. He just walks away and leaves him there. And I'm kind of wondering if that means Humbug's going to come back in some capacity to help him or to, like, try to hurt him further. I'm not quite sure, but I do think maybe Humbug will be coming back in some sort of way, shape, or form probably anytime soon because the police are at his house and stuff like that and he can't get to nothing and one of the villains are dead blah 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 but i do wonder if that means he's gonna come back as someone else or come back you know as something else and be either like a friend or like a neutral party or maybe even like still against venom so that'll be interesting to see and then that hydro man fight was <laughs> awesome like <laughs> that was i think that's the funniest way like that is on par with like when Spider-Man first met Sandman and he trapped him in a vacuum. Like, that is just hilarious. He turns this dude into soap and then just uses a nail gun. <laughs> I feel like if I get that as, like, an animated GIF or, like, see that in, like, the third Venom live-action movie, I would just lose it. Because that, that's, like, a, a meme-worthy thing. Like, that's just hilarious. Even Hydra Man, I'm just like, this is embarrassing. I'll put, like, the, <laughs> the panels up here for you guys to see. But that was just hilarious, dude. That was amazing. That was, a, that was a good appearance by Hydro Man, though. That was funny. That was a really good comedic bit. I loved it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, the ending, uh, I really wonder, like, I wonder how this is going to go. You know, just, like, cause she's like, oh, I can remove the sonic weakness. And, like, but, first of all, how? I mean, you know, with everything happened after, you know, like, um, you know, the Clintor and, you know, um, I keep getting his name, but, you know, king in black whatever no that was his name no like everything after that i wonder like who who she works for what's going on if they can remove like the sonic weakness and the fire weakness or what's gonna have to happen like are they gonna we're gonna get like another symbiote spawn or maybe he's gonna lose the symbiote again it has to go on itself and stuff like that i'm just wondering what what's like going to really really happen here because if you remove the sonic weakness like how how do you know how to do that? Like what is what is even really going on here? You know what it means? So I'm just really interested to see like what they're gonna do, how they're gonna take that, where that's all gonna really go. And just really you know where where the story's gonna go from here. Cause you know, we had Humbug and the other dudes and we kinda thought they were gonna be like major villains, but now they're kinda dealt with and now we have this coming in, so I'm wondering if it's gonna be more like a long term story or it's gonna be kinda like this is the issue for three, four, five, six, seven issues and then it's it's something else. You know what I mean? But yeah, I am excited to see where that goes. I do think, uh, hopefully Humbo will come back in some capacity, maybe, to, like, help out or whatever like that. Or anything. But I do think Humbo will be coming back. I'm really excited to see where the story goes as far as, you know, getting the Sonic thing removed. And if there's any, like, pieces of the symbiote left from issue one. Because when you saw it, it got blasted to pieces and it's, like, all over the place. And the pieces might not have been necessarily, like, alive or anything. They're still symbiote. So I wonder if they, like, took something from that or... What is even going on? How they can remove like a sonic weakness from this alien symbiote thing? So I'm really interested to see where the story goes, but definitely pick it up. Hydro Man was funny as hell. Um, yeah, so the comic uh, comic review right here, and um, I'll be uploading one every week. Hopefully, I have more time for um, some more stuff here as well. And if you guys like this, you can like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and keep reading.